Let's enable the energy model and look at the overall energy settings and features. For example, the percentage glazing and the shading attributes to be used in the energy analysis. In general, maximizing the glazing tends to have a beneficial effect by allowing lots of daylight to enter the building and reduce the need for artificial lighting. But surfaces that receive a relatively high level of solar radiation, typically those on the south side of the building, need to be considered especially carefully. On one hand, we'd like to maximize the percentage of glazing area on these surfaces to capture more solar radiation to assist with passive heating during the coolest months. But on the other hand, too much glazing on these surfaces can result in capturing too much heat during the summer and increasing our air conditioning loads. An especially effective strategy is to add shading features to these south-facing windows with a shade that is deep enough to block the sun's rays during the summer when the sun is high in the sky, but still let in the sun's rays during the winter when the sun is low in the sky. When adding shading features to your design, you'll typically find that it's best to use different orientations for the various building faces based on the angle of the sun in the sky when it's hitting that face. For example, when the sun is in the south, it's typically high in the sky, so horizontal shades are most effective. But when the sun is in the east or west, it's often lower in the sky, so vertical fins and shades are often applied to windows on these sides of a building. To change the percentage glazing or the shading features on specific surfaces, we can select the surfaces and then change the energy model settings to assign the values by surface rather than by the default energy settings. Then we can enter a new percentage glazing and enable shading and specify the depth of the shading for that surface. When we analyze the mass model and compare the results of using the default settings for all surfaces versus customizing the glazing and shading features on specific surfaces, we can see that these changes can have a big impact on the energy use intensity, the life cycle energy costs, and the potential carbon footprint.